fight between Dustin the Diamond Poirier and Donald Cerrone. Well, he's never held a UFC title, but he has every other record he would like to have in the UFC. Most wins, most finishes. He is the perennial contender, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And this recent form he has shown since becoming a father, arguably the best of his story. The very best Donald Cerrone we've ever seen. And the reason he has so many records is because he's a guy that really embodies the term anybody, anywhere. You bring an octagon. Put it in the middle of an arena and invite Donald Cerrone. He will show up and he will give you a fantastic performance. Donald Cerrone is every man's favorite fighter, and rightfully so. When he has faced adversity in his career, he has come through with flying colors. See the win over Yancey Medeiros that stopped a skid. Donald Cerrone with momentum back on the proven ground here tonight. All right, here he is, the reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. Tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Cerrone is six years his senior. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 36 wins, 15 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. Presenting the challenger, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight. Champion of the world, Dustin the Diamond Poirier! All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see. Oh! Beautiful diving strike lands. Oh, big left hook there. Well, anytime you are in a ground fight, 
fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Three minutes remain in the round. Both fighters get up now. 27 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, so the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly puts him out. Can't take video. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155. I can't believe he's to fight at featherweight. He looks like he could never have made that weight. He's found his hole at lightweight, and you see the damage he can inflict with one strike. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, single collar tie here. Right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Massive knee lands from the tie clinch. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Poirier's got the tie clinch down. Cerrone's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, so there's the end of the round. He has been committed to that body work all night. Certainly paid off over those previous five minutes. Yeah, he's investing in the body. He's not taking out withdrawals. He's depositing into body punching, and now it's showing itself. He's made an investment. Let's see how that investment pays off as we go forward. Always better to be making a deposit than a withdrawal. Oh, yeah, you got to stop taking withdrawals in all situations of your life. Your relationship, your, your, your fighting, everything. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh! Big combination for Cerrone. Poirier gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. If you can hit with a shot like that, you don't know what. Run, hide, grab, a wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was. Coleman, now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. These are unofficial, but 61 total strikes. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down. Man. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 
round. One minute, 56 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So he defends the UFC lightweight title tonight, and I think in so doing, starts to close the gap on the pantheon of lightweight greats. A hugely successful defense tonight. Big moment for this man. Every time he goes into